Welcome back to the show. Now we're getting into our Coming to America review. And to start the overview, this is a 1988 romantic comedy film directed by John Landis and based on a story originally created by Eddie Murphy. Uh, the film also co-stars Arsenio Hall, James Earl Jones, uh, Sherry Headley, and John Amos. It had a budget of $36 million and brought in 288.8 to $350 million. It's got a ridiculous 73% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Rotten Tomatoes, you guys fail us again. Just when we think y'all are going to uphold a classic, they're just like, C, C my. <laughs> <laughs> um but man like we were mentioning before this is a movie we have seen countless times yeah this is one we know like like the the, the back of our hand it, it's just so many classic scenes uh eddie murphy is at his peak arsenio hall is too and yes. it's one of those ones where i mean eddie murphy is playing multiple characters he's showing his versatility um this is around the time i mean he was in movies like obviously like boomerang 48 hours beverly hills yeah it, just so many uh, classic movies, and this one w- was one that everybody knows. Um, what 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 stands out to you when you just think of this movie? Think back to it, and just you know what it even means years later. Can't forget Harlem Nights uh, before that, for that. But this movie, man, this is the first time he was able to like show his versatility, play different characters, yeah, show the comedy, the more. Uh, more stretch comedies and stand-up comedy because it's, it's obviously it's a difference. It's sort of kind of similar writing, but stand-up comedies writing is you know is different for punchlines. This it was more of body body language, how they spoke, how they talk, how they looked, and then you can identify because you've seen these characters before. Everybody's been to a barbershop with an old guy you used to spin old yarns talking nothing but nonsense. It's Mama name is Mama Nate McClay. I'm gonna call him. <laughs> <laughs> I, was so fu- I was really watching it a few hours ago. <laughs> hey, we no. talk about the the, uh, the 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 Joe the Joe Lewis and Frank Sinatra. Frank no. Sinatra was in here one day. He said Joe Lewis born thirty seven. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. I'm gonna save them because I got so many scenes, bro. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I'm gonna sorry, but no. Uh, this, yeah, this was this is such a funny movie from beginning to end, and um, you had a lot of young actors in here before the time. Mm-hmm. And then you had oh, they blew up the, the legend Jamie L. Jones uh, playing his father, and it was just, I mean. Perfect voice, bro. <laughs> perfect voice. It was comedic gold, bro. Like it had, it, it was just funny. You, how is it? I'm gonna 73%? say this. I'm gonna say this. I think this is one of the five most rewatchable movies. Yes, you bro. Can find, bro. I think. Yes, every, bro. I'm, every time it pops up on TV, I'm like, I'm just gonna wait to see me not like it once. I'm just, and it's not. It never happens. It never happens. <laughs> just <laughs> when they're, the show when they're soul, in the church. Bro? When they're. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got the pick. You got the pick. You got the pick. He's, <laughs> he's like looking in the mirror. Like, you gotta get her here. <laughs> no, when they sat on that couch and they got up, and it was that the couch. That's why they used to put kept the the plastic on there. That's exactly why. Because people used to sweat their jerk curl out. <laughs> <laughs> Let your soul Man. go. Oh my goodness! Man, it's we're not gonna get through this, bro. We're, we're, we're not, this is hey, I'm gonna let you know, listeners. This is one we're not gonna get through. We're not gonna get through this. Um, and many. get and get into our to our first topic. One of four stars. What would you give it? Um, clear four stars. Um, yes. I mean, you can even give it whatever you want. That's the highest, highest, highest amount, bro. This is this checks so many boxes. This might be the epitome of checks boxes yes, films, bro. bro. But everything from from the chemistry of of the characters. Um, the the comedic elements, yeah. um, just the rewatchability. This movie is so rewatchable to me. Um, yes. W- 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 what would you give it from one to four stars? Four stars, bro. The writing in this film, bro, is so funny. It's not forced either. It's really just, 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 just. I don't even know. Like it's so <laughs> funny. It's we can't so even get through funny, sentences. Funny. We can't even get these sentences, <laughs> bro. The even the opening scene, like the whole entire movie from beginning to end, you're laughing nonstop, and then it gives you the love and all that stuff and the seriousness about it, and the you know. But this is one of his funniest movies he's ever done. It's not forced. You can watch this thing came out in the nineties. I didn't watch Coming to America two. I wasn't going to take my eyes. And don't do it. And don't do it. <laughs> no, I'm don't not do it. Do it. <sighs> um, but shout, this out, is that- shout out to the fact that 
every movie has to have a Samuel Jackson. <laughs> Samuel Jackson cameo, and this one does it. <laughs> the stick up scene. I forgot. Yo, McDowell's, bro. <laughs> no, you know what's funny? They used that in a <gasps> recent commercial. Oh my god! <laughs> McDonald's did. They was doing all these movies that had McDonald's. Oh, they had to run it. They had to run and then back. McDonald's, they got the the Big Mac. We got. The, yeah, I was like, bro, that's so funny. But yeah, Man. McDonald's. Oh my goodness! It had Louis Anderson in there. Oh yes. my goodness! He was such a good comedian, and he had his own TV show, a cartoon TV show. So there was so many people in there. Man, four stars. Was just. It's just comedic gold, bro. It's gold. It's 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 so much gold in it. Um, and now getting to um, favorite character. Um, I I would go with 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 Akeem. Uh, he he has so many. Just obviously, he's he's the, he's the main focus in the movie. Um, it's a it's a exceptional. It's one of the best performances yeah. we've seen from from Eddie Murphy. One one of his Hall of Fame ones. And just throughout the film, he just um, <laughs> when he's talking about the jet, the Jets game. <laughs> the jet, did you see the Jets? Game? <laughs> <laughs> it was the most entertaining match I've ever seen. He said, hey, son, I want you to tell you one thing. Stay off the drugs. <laughs> and then he was like, yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness, bro. It Who was, do you got for uh, favorite character? <laughs> high key, bro. Yeah. It's, it's hard. I mean, I could go for Arsenio's hard character. But yeah, high, was high key, was, it, was just, it was just funny. Just Eddie Murphy in general. I could go. I forgot to do the barbershop. Him, he was funny. Because... <laughs> When they was passing the collection plate, but the, the chicken put the ball. Chicken ball. <laughs> he was like, he was like, donation, donation, <laughs> donation, donation. I thought it was trash. <laughs> hey yo, this movie's so funny. Yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> that boy's um, good. That boy's good. <laughs> no, no, he's not. Randy Watson. Oh Randy my Watson. goodness. <laughs> Section shocking <it. laughs> Y'all look so lovely. <laughs> 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 Damn, this was so good. <laughs> oh and, my goodness! And, and before we move on, with the cat, like the thing you have to mention, the casting is just exceptional. It's yeah. not just Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall. It's it's multiple characters. Like, do you feel as though that was like we always mention that's the key? But do you feel as though for a movie like that, they the director knew, hey, it just can't be the top two. It's really got to be a full length yeah. of great of great actors. Yeah, I mean, you you attract James Earl Jones to the mix that brings a, a different audience because he was on broadway too he was yeah. doing a bunch of stuff he did fences on broadway it, it's a lot of things he was doing at the time so bringing him into the mix that brings a whole nother viewership because i mean he was doing voice voiceovers he was still doing movies he, he did sandlot before that like he was doing so much star wars don't get me started he was darth oh vader my goodness. so like he had a different type of viewership and then you you bring in Louis Anderson, Samuel Jackson had his cameo before he was big, but that was a funny part. Like it was so many different actors in here, unknown actors that came out and kind of solid not solidified themselves, but just introduced themselves into the the the, the uh, mix. acting is yeah, the acting mix, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um and now getting into some, some memorable scenes. I had um also uh, that the, the king has entered uh, the building. Um all of the barbershop scenes <laughs> yes. for sure. Um the, the sparring session. Uh, King of New York, um, the, the the McDowell stick up scene, um, also the the King's motorcade scene, the the royal yeah. breakfast scene, um, McDowell's not not McDonald's, <laughs> um, the the King visits McDowell's uh, house, um, the bride to be princess, it's obviously the 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 black uh, awareness pageant, <laughs> the, the whole movie, so, the whole, you really the, named the, the whole, whole movie. movie, the whole movie, bro, because this is one this is one of those those movies when I was looking back at the scenes, I was like, bro. Every scene Steady. in this is gold. Uh, were there were there any like just particular <laughs> ones that are uh, that are the main memorable ones? Hey, it was like, why everybody's getting upset with Hakeem? He's not the he's not the prince. He, and then what's come said, who told you that? <laughs> hey, oh, send me, give me what you doing? Man. And then once he was chasing after uh, her on the subway, he was like, if you're really a prince, I'll marry you. <laughs> and he just gave it to me. He's like, you know what? You can take it, baby. I don't know. <laughs> nah, yeah. And then obviously when he, he gets surprised that she's the bride or whatever. Bro, at the it, tail end, obviously. In the movie. Is, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's too many, um, bro. It's a so, lot. So so many. I mean, we're 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 just being honest with you guys. This this is one that's 
very hard to get, hard to get to. Um, and, and before we move on, um, we mentioned how Eddie Murphy has had like some of the best. Um, this this was his his role. This was his run of just being in great movie after great movies, eighties yeah. and, and and early nineties. Um, are there any ones that that you feel as though, man, this is like? Or are there a couple or, or a few that you that you say are like you know at his Mount Rushmore of just great movies? Oh man, life is definitely yes. there. Um, I want to. I want to say Harlem Lights, but I won't give it to it. I'll put Coming to America up there. Obviously, uh, the first... Well, I like the second Clumps more than I like the first and the third one. So Clumps is definitely on there because it shows his versatility. And it was just like... Pure, <laughs> it was just comedic go. That was funny. Like the yeah. whole movie was funny with Janie Jackson. Um, ooh. He's, Boomerang is a good one. Oh, man. That's a that's really, a good, really one. good one, bro. That's a really good one. Yeah, that's definitely on his mind because he had all these young actors in there David Al Greer. He had uh, Martin Lawrence in there, Holly Berry. Uh, yeah, it was a, uh, John Witherspoon. Like, so yeah. he had a, a bunch of actors in there. But yeah, I think those four, you could make, you know, Beverly Hill Cops was obviously was good, but I really wasn't a huge fan of those. Uh, but you can you can make the case for a lot. He's his catalog is really really dope, for sure. I mean, and and like you you saw Arsenio Hall was just super talented. I mean, he had his yeah. had the late night so show. Funny. Then this, I mean, yeah, he's we got to mention Arsenio Hall was hilarious too in this movie, bro. Yes. <laughs> um, and now um and, and and now getting into to, to most memorable quotes, I had uh uh his mama call him Clay, I'ma call him Clay. Yeah. Um, also um, so why did you come here? And then a prince, I came to find something special. Uh, yeah. Also, it's a long way to travel. Um, oh, oh, there they, 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 oh, there they go, there they go. Every time I start talking about boxing, <laughs> why well, got to <laughs> mention Rocky Mercy? <laughs> I love that line where he's like, "You just got to mention Rocky Mercy." <laughs> um, and, and also, uh, um, and uh, if if loving is wrong, I don't I don't want to be right. Just so yeah. many so many great quotes in this. Uh, do you have any any particular standouts? I'm just gonna add one, and it was. Uh... <laughs> Eddie Murphy's playing a white guy. He was like, the guy sat down. He had, he ordered some soup. He was like, uh, I, I can't eat this. He was like, what's wrong with the soup? I can't eat the soup. He was like, oh, I forgot the joke. But he was like, uh, where's your spoon? He was like, ah, ha, 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 ha. Ah, he was like, oh, whatever. It was a funny, I can't remember it per se, but that one, that one stood out the most because he was actually playing yeah. a white guy. Damn. And then the, the joke versatility. Was, yeah, the joke was funny. The joke was funny. He was like, aha, and everybody looking at him like, all right, bro. <laughs> you only here. Uh, <laughs> you only here for uh, affirmative action. <laughs> gotta have a white yeah. guy at the barbershop. Gotta, yeah, man. gotta have a white guy at the barbershop, bro. <laughs> um, and now getting into to, to what did you like the most about the storyline? Um, to, to me, just the I think the trajectory, obviously, of, of you know him going from going from royalty and then and then like choosing to be in a lowly environment and yeah. then actually finding the woman he wanted to be with cuz i mean that you got to think about like that system of just them picking who your wife was is yeah. so weird like you can't even yeah, really connect right? like you just this is your wife yeah i mean you, you don't have any choice you just got to go right. with it so i mean just 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 a really completely weird environment but to you, was there a particular element of this storyline you kind of like the most yeah that was I me mean, basically it and him you know, tricking his father, telling him he want to go sow his roll of oats, and then he's trying to find a loving life in New York. Oh, we forgot that scene when he was in the bar, uh, oh. talking to the girl. My, I was, I was Jordan, <laughs> I was Jordan Hark my former like, hey, get this crazy, hey. Or that one is like, I like to worship the devil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, our city of hall. He was like, I want to eat you alive. You and your friend too. He was like. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, yeah, it was funny. It was him. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that scene. Um, but yeah, that was, I mean, that was the most. We haven't even mentioned the beautiful Lisa McDowell, bro. Oh, she was. Ten. Ten. Her Ten. sister was, it was uh, promiscuous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he was like, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, at the Knicks game, yeah. It's halftime, <laughs> bro. Yes. <laughs> My boy like, trying look, to get up out of there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't believe we didn't even mention the bath the St. John scene. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, the St. John scene. And then 
And that then the guy, great. when he's in the concession scan, the guy just like bows down. And then, oh, yeah, then, yeah, yeah, then yeah, they yeah. Him, How did you meet this guy? He's like, oh, I uh, met him in the restroom. <laughs> 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 That's not <All> right. weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, man. Um, uh, and getting get to, to our to our last topic, you know, um, ten years from now, will this be watchable and intriguing? We obviously obviously know it will. I mean, it, it is really past every metric. Yeah. And this this is like when we do these movies, like movie reviews of like ten years from now, will be watchable and intriguing. This is one of the movies that to me is the epitome of watchability and intriguing. Yeah. Multiple decades from now, I think even newer viewers a decade from now will like this movie. Um, it, it, it's obviously one that they may not be as familiar with, but I think everybody knows that this is one of the staples in Eddie yeah. Murphy's catalog, and it's um, it's, it's just a, a certified classic. You talking about comedic genius, writing ability, versatility. I mean, even a, a ten year old would laugh at this film. Yeah. Like it's it's so funny and it's relatable because most of these characters we've seen before, especially the barber shop, especially um uh people that's from another country, they don't know the <laughs> the the ins and out of what's going on and trying to, you know, get adjusted. So yeah. yeah, this film is definitely obviously it was it was made in the nineties. Great film. Mm -hmm. It's it's definitely one that you rewatch. You you if it comes on TV, you're gonna you're like, okay, it. I'll watch it. Yeah. For sure. And I just wanna say Daryl is the type of guy that we all hate. I don't he always 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 gets the prettiest girls but has no substance. He's like, My no girl substance. Should, my girl shouldn't have to work. Uh, what can I get you? I'll get you coffee. <laughs> just like, okay. And she's like, all right. <laughs> I could get myself coffee, bro. I can get <laughs> he said it so tight. I'll get you coffee. <laughs> and then you live it off your parents' money. Like, bro. Come on, man. Like, what do you actually do? You don't do anything. <laughs> bro, if he would have threw that, what's coming and landing on my I shirt, I would have pulled up. I bro. Been tight. I'm not just watching you drive off with, with, with the wannabe girlfriend. I would have. <laughs> exactly. I'm pulling you out of the car, cuz. <laughs> nah, nah. What's nah, What's <laughs> What you talking about, bro? We in and my New York, friend, too? And my friend laughing at me like, nah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what you laughing at? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Man, it's absolutely just just yes. a perfect film. There's no no critiques. Ron Tomatoes, get it, get it together. Get it, yeah, yeah. You need to get it together. Bunch of nerds. Get together. <laughs> Bunch of nerds. Bunch of nerds. <laughs> Oh, this is a C minus. This is oh my god. This isn't technical. I don't get his comedy. Oh, what is what up. is a barber shop humor? <laughs> <laughs> what are they laughing? That's good. That was good. <laughs> that was good. Oh my goodness! Well, that wraps it up for tonight. I'm your host, Wendy Burns. I'm my counterpart, Savon Morris. This has been Full Scope. See you later.